Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over collections. Collections are used to organize all your products inside your Shopify store so it's easy for your customers to find what they're looking for. Let's jump into it. So one of the most important things inside your Shopify store is how you organize it. And the best way to organize it inside Shopify is using collections. So if we hop over the dashboard and we have a look here, we can see that we have a number of menu items on the left and we are going to be organizing products. So what we want to do is we want to go underneath products. And when you click on products, it opens up a menu uh, that's going to have a few items underneath it. Today, we're going to be focusing on the collections menu. So if you click on collections, it'll bring up all of your current active collections that you have set up in your store. So what we want to do is we will actually want to go and create a new collection. So if we click collect, create collections on the right hand side, we're going to be brought to a page that has some data that we can enter. Now similar to editing a product, uh, we have a title and we have a description. So we're going to go and enter in this as a staff fix. And now the, and the description that we enter into the collection, unlike products, it isn't required. It can be optional. You can have a description in there or you can not have a description there. I'm going to throw in some uh, lorem ipsum so that we can see what the description looks like when it rolls out onto the site. Okay, now that we've done the description, we can move on to the collection type. So the collection type, we have two options. We have a manual collection or we have an automated collection. And generally, I recommend you try and do an automated collection whenever possible. This is because if you go and update new products, you do an import or you do a connection with another system, you don't have to go and recreate the collections afterwards. Shopify will automatically populate your collections, giving you uh, give you less time that's needed to be worked on your online store. Now you can always go manual collection if you want to keep the products in there fixed. Uh, for the sake of this demo, we're going to do automated collections because I feel like it has a little bit more um, nuance to it. So we want to make sure that we cover that. So uh, if you had selected manual, you hit save and it will generate out a collection which you can add products to. But we're going to hit automated. And then we're met with uh, some conditions that we want to select. So in these conditions, we can select all conditions or any conditions. So basically, this is all conditions, an and statement, and then any conditions is an or statement. We're going to go all conditions, and we're going to go product vendor is equal to, and then it's going to give us the a list of all the vendors that have been added to our store. So if you don't see your vendor on this list, it means that you haven't added that specific vendor to one of your products inside your store. So if you have a new vendor, there's no vendor list to maintain. Um, Shopify pulls all your vendors in depending on whether they match or not. So if you have um, a couple of vendors and then there might be a spelling mistake in one of them, you're gonna see two vendors show up here rather than just the single vendor. So we're going to click uh, Celine as our condition and we're going to hit save. Once we've done this, Shopify will go and grab the items that match our collection and put them into our product list. Now, once we have our product list, we have a couple of options on how we're going to sort it. So um, underneath this drop down menu, we have uh, product title A to Z, product title Z to A, highest price, lowest price, newest, oldest, manually. Now, if you're going to be using an app to uh, order your collections, I'm going to show you an excellent app that allows you to curate your collections um, visually so you can drag and drop things around. Your collection is going to need to be manual in order to do that. But for the purpose of this demo, we're going to set them uh, products A to Z just because we want it to go in alphabetical make it easy for us to find things. Now, on Shopify, if you have an inactive product, it's still going to show up in the collection, but it's not going to show up on the public side. So if a product like coated canvas tote bags, let's go into this product here and I'll show you what I mean. If I change the product avail or visibility on this to not on any channel and save it, and I come back over here and I refresh this, 
we'll see that it shows it in the collection. It's been added to the collection, but when you render it on the page, because it's inactive, it's not going to show it. All right. Um, then the next thing we have here is our sales channel of where the collection itself is being viewed. Before we go through that, let's go and look at what the collection looks like on the website. So we can see uh, the Lauren Ipsum text we put in the top has showed up at the top, and then we have our different bags that have laid out down below. Now we can see that that canvas tote that I uh, deactivated is not in here. If I go back in and I modify this to being on these sales channels, there we go. Coated canvas tote bag is now here. Great. Now the only other options that we have on the collection page um, that is different than a product page is the collection image. So we can go and add a collection image to this page. We can see it then changes our collection page to have an image across the top. Now if we wanted to change the colors, if we wanted to change the heading, that sort of thing, we would do that in the edit theme settings um, and I'm going to show you where to do that now. So we've now covered everything on the uh, collection page itself, but to say we wanted to make some modifications to how it looks, what we want to do is we want to head over to online store and we want to head over to themes and then we want to hit customize themes. Now once we're in the theme customizer, we're going to go to select a page and we're going to select the collection page. So collection pages. Okay, collection page has got a couple of options on here. We're going to actually pull up our collection. So let's go to our collection here. If your page doesn't show up underneath this drop down menu and you need to be able to view the actual page you're working on, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do in the editor. If you look in the URL here, after the word editor, there's a slash symbol in here where it pulls up the collections slash the, the um, collection handle. So if we come back over to our collections here, we can see that the collection handle that we use for the staff picks collection is slash staff picks. So we can copy that and we can add that into the theme customizer and refresh it and it will pull up the exact page that we're looking for. This allows us to be able to modify things and see how it looks without necessarily having something in the navigation in order to get there. All right, collection page. Um, we can show all collections if we want to. We can show types. We can make different um, modifications as we do that we will see the page it's going to upload and show us what it's going to look like we can add to collection sorting that sort of thing featured image you can change the image along the top to be what you want to be and I want an overlay of 40% now again this is theme dependent so it really is up to you on which theme you choose to which what are the customizations available on collection now all of these customizations can be transferred from one theme to another you're not stuck with these customizations in a single theme but it does need to be liquid coated in, in order to bring out these features so that's an overview of collections there's a lot of things that you can do with collections to make it more complicated you can include them in other places but we're going to go over that in the next video thanks for coming by i hope that this was helpful if it was hit the like button hit the subscribe button or the bell notification if that's something that you're into and we'll see you guys in the next one